Today at five, a woman is found guilty of murdering her husband after a row over a family meal. She's been sentenced to life with a minimum term of 18 years. The government warns it may retaliate if France blocks British fishing boats in the row over post-Brexit fishing rights. We will see what they do uh, on Tuesday, uh, but obviously we, we reserve the right to uh, respond in a, a proportionate way. The UK saw the highest level of coronavirus infection since the pandemic began last week. Official figures suggest 1.3 million people would have tested positive. Treatment for menopause symptoms is to be made cheaper in England as the government announces that women will only need to pay for their prescription once a year after a campaign led by the Labour MP Carolyn Harris. Can I thank the minister? Can I thank the clocks? <sighs> Wonderful women, thank you. The Pope calls for world leaders to consider radical decisions to tackle climate change in a message recorded for the BBC ahead of the COP26 summit in Glasgow. And Big Bear and Baby Bear were different. And it's the spooky season ahead of Halloween. Let's find out what Mark Kermode thinks about Disney's antlers and much more in the film review coming up at 5.45. Hello, good afternoon. In the last hour, a 66-year-old woman from Somerset has been found guilty of murdering her husband after a row over a family meal. Penelope Jackson stabbed David Jackson to death at their home in Somerset. After her arrest, she told police she had stabbed him as he was an aggressive bully. Well, she's been jailed for life with a minimum term of 18 years in prison. John Kay has the background to the case. <laughs> 